Just ahead, you might have seen it while you were driving through downtown L.A. It is described as the, oh, this is so cool. It's the largest public art civic project in the entire country. We have details behind the artwork. I saw it. I saw it on you, Sunday. You saw it on the 110, no, right? When you on drive Friday. By? Yeah, I loved it. It's so pretty. It's, it's so vibrant. Yeah. All right, this is really cool. If you're someone who commutes through downtown Los Angeles, you might have noticed that big piece of artwork we're about to show to you. It's described as the largest public art and civic project in the country. Gail Anderson stopped by the Los Angeles Convention Center for a look. Yes, our uh, Drone 5, we need this because according to Ed Massey of Portraits of Hope, the mural you see on South Hall from the 110 is more than four football fields long. That's right, this is 1,200 linear feet. It's a huge canvas for all the kids and adults who participate on this project. Shaping LA, there's a message in that as well as what we see visually. This is a community project. It's a civic engagement project. We work with kids in schools, social service programs, hospitals, the Braille Institute, even the Wayfair. So it's really the beauty of getting people together to work on something magnificent. So down at the West Hall, the viewers who come into the Staples Center or come into the Convention Center will see actually images of the participants. They'll see also the work of thousands of kids who painted discs from County USC Hospital, the Special Olympics, youth programs and schools as well. And so you'll see the education component and also again the hospitalized children. You'll see them in action because a lot of people who see this may not know the story until, until they see the visuals down there. It, you know, it starts off with the uh, Department of Conventions and Tourism who gave us the approvals and then you get good folks like the folks at GES who helped us do the entire installation and AEG who runs the facilities here and of course you have the fabric from Cooley fabric that comes from the Midwest and image options of printing houses you have EFI Vutech these inks that are so magnificent that a lot of people don't get that a lot of organizations come on board uh, Niagara cares they have supported all of our projects with education and this Vista Paint, a company who's given us over 150 gallons of paint to continue and make this so beautiful for LA. It's also geometric shapes because we work with so many youth that they are shaping the future. It's called Shaping LA. We've worked on projects that are so great, especially child friendly, kid friendly, because we worked on fire trucks and ambulances, uh, first responder paramedics that we've actually decked out the exterior of the vehicles. The largest blimp in the Americas was flying around with a hand-painted surface. A DC-3 at the centennial celebration of flight. Four race cars for NASCAR. Towers. Uh, we've worked with spheres at MacArthur Park. Those big inflatable, the larger than beach balls. They're six feet, five feet, and four foot diameter. All hand-painted by kids. So they're really fun and engaging um, uh, visuals that people do, don't frequent galleries or museums. They don't have to pay. They can see it. The convention center is lit up at night. At three in the morning, someone driving by will be able to see something really inspiring. So we're hoping that the general public sees it and enjoys what they see. To learn more about the Shaping LA mural and to learn more about the nonprofit organization Portraits of Hope and to learn how you can either help as a donor or volunteer, take a look at the website portraitsofhope.org. Shaping LA in downtown Los Angeles, Gail Anderson, KTLA 5 News. I love that. That is so cool. I was actually driving by on uh, the 10 freeway the other day, last week, I think, at 3 a.m., and I saw that on the convention center. I was like, wow, that's really beautiful. Yeah. The beach balls. The I know so cool there. The planes. Really cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think, that was, my, Bob, my I think that was Bob Key who edited that, right? Really? With the that's music. Cool. It was excellent. That might be one of my favorite Gale stories. I love that. Absolutely. The drones. We all it. just yeah, yeah. locked in Mesmerizing. and staring at that. But I would like to go to Echo Park now and see those big... Gigantic. Yeah, let's go. Balls. Yeah. It's pretty cool.